All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in the small triangle, the medium triangle, and then the large triangle. As you watch the large triangle get filled in, you might wonder where I get the X plus one. And if you watch here, I show you the X plus one is the long side of the original problem. Next I start looking for uh, something that I can set up a proportion where I can actually solve it. And it looks like uh, I found the hypotenuse of the little one in the bottom and the hypotenuse of the large one in the bottom. So I set up a proportion and then I'm going to attempt to solve it by cross multiplying. You'll see after I make the 9, I go back and highlight in yellow where I cross multiplied. If you solve that out, x equals 8. So now we've got one of our variables, and that's the x. Now I'm going to go back and uh, put the 8 in wherever I see an X. And that will make the large hypotenuse 9. <laughs> Alright, here you can see that um, I found a new proportion now that I filled in the 9. Uh, the next thing you're going to see is a huge mistake as I put the 8 over Z but I put the Z on the bottom and on the second part I should have put the Z on the top. I knew in my head what was about to happen. I was going to have a Z squared equals 72. Uh, I didn't change the fact that I set the proportion up wrong so make sure on your homework you don't do that. And then the square root of 72 is going to be 6 square roots of 2. So now that I know what Z is. Alright now that you have that all filled out Basically, we're going to finish the problem off by finding a y, and we've got a nice set of proportions here, and we can do the um, geometric mean. We've got y over 1 equals 8 over y. On this one, you can see I set my y's in the right spots. So y squared equals 8. We're going to do the square root on both sides, and we end up with 2 square roots of 2. Uh, leave me a positive comment, and I'll get you a surprise on Monday. So, see you on Monday. Thanks.